Hi, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and welcome to a very makeshift episode of Off The Peg. Some of you remember Off The Peg fondly, people that have been following the channel for a while. It's where I take three ukuleles, talk about them and compare them. And what I'm going to do today is just touch on these three ukuleles, why I've chosen to show them to you, and then we're going to do a long sound sample one after the other. So the first ukulele I'm going to show off today is one I'm not sure if I featured in the video before. It's the Ohana TK43. Now the TK43 is made of burled redwood, so a really figured redwood with an almost kind of pore, like, a, like an open pore look to the wood, a real texture, real contrast of, well basically we've never had anything like it, that's why I'm showing you it, and I, I'm concerned that maybe I haven't featured this in a video, uh, if I haven't, shame on me, if I have then woohoo, doesn't hurt to show you again. It's got red uh, redwood top with rosewood back and sides, all solid wood. And as tenors go, it's one of the loudest tenors in the shop, one of the most unique looking tenors in the shop. And I think it really competes well with instruments that are more expensive. So I'm gonna show this and then I'm gonna show something that's kind of the next price point up. Um, yeah, so the TK43, uh, burled redwood and rosewood, a winning combination. And uh, I look forward to showing you that in a sec. The next ukulele I'm gonna look at is a CD260W. Why am I showing you this Miller? I'm showing you this Miller because when have you seen a cedar top like that? One of the most unique looking cedar tops we've had ever. Um, in fact, I don't even know why the wood grain would be like that. Normally I've got a clever answer. I just put it down to black magic somewhere <laughs> in Miller. And you have the Palfero back and sides. So kind of a derivative of rosewood, very similar wood. And that's good because cedar and Palfero against redwood and rosewood is a really good comparison to do. That's the CD260W. Um, the links to these will be in the video description, so the exact instruments you're seeing here. And then finally we've got this custom Owlcraft here, which you don't really need to use words to explain what's it's been shown in a video. It's simply one of the nicest looking ukuleles I've ever had with this translucent black maple back and sides using curly maple. Um, this is number 124, uh, has a side sample as well, with a racing stripe down the back, that makes it go faster, as we all know. So we're going to end the video today with this Owlcraft Custom. All three of these ukuleles are available now, and uh, yeah, this is the first of two episodes we're going to do this weekend, one of me, and stay tuned because the next one will be the guys of the shop showing you their favourite instruments. <laughs> so funny right because you forget just how light these are like they are the lightest instruments in the shop like, I've just played some instruments that are really good for like five six hundred pound and then I pick this up and fine you know it's four times the price but it's just it, you there's something about it that you, it's like you can't 
get across in a video. No matter how hard I try, I just can't get across how good these are. You know when someone comes in, they're like, oh, what is what is a three grand you, like, or four grand? You, you show them this. You show them that, but then even you, when you put it back, you're like, that is really, really special. Yeah. It's yeah. just, I, I it's, don't know how to put it across. You forget just how amazing they are. The amount of times I made videos about these, and I'm just like, they're amazing, they're amazing. And then uh, like, insanely when someone comes in and I go, play this, and then uh, they play it and like. It speaks for itself. Yeah, right, well, okay. 